Congratulations for overcoming your fear of microwaves. You actually perhaps don't know it, but you already overcame that fear the day you bought a cell phone, okay? <laughs> cell phones, smartphones, they are total microwave radiating devices, all right? And if you had eyes tunable to see microwaves, you'd see them coming in and out of your phone all the time. Well, not all the time, when you're using it. They be coming in and out of the phone. And if you looked on the landscape, you'd see cell phone towers ablaze with light. So uh, you, you're already baptized in a sea of microwaves. We just happen to collect some of them together, put it in a box, stick it in your kitchen, and you can use it to heat food. Okay? Some people say you're nuking your food. No, 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 no. The microwaves make the water molecules jiggle. Okay? They all jiggle very fast, and friction between them heats your food. Because water is a big additive to food that you might be cooking. That's all that's going on in there. Oh, by the way, the wavelength of microwaves, uh, anywhere from about maybe half an inch up to about six inches around there. Okay? So, <laughs> if the door of your microwave oven only had glass, the microwaves would come out because microwaves penetrate glass. So if you put your eyeballs up to it, your eyeballs would like boil. So check the inside door of your microwave, make sure there's a mesh there, and make sure the holes on the mesh are smaller than a half inch diameter. Then the microwaves can't fit through, they're too big. They just bounce off, go back into the food, and the food cooks. You're fine. Smart engineers design these things. So, uh, <laughs> welcome to the world of microwave oven cookery.